What if I told you that the DNA of one small region could unlock the entire story of Europe's history? From ancient empires to great migrations, the secrets of the Balkans past are written in its DNA. It's a story of connection, conflict, and culture that shaped the continent we know today. But why does Balkan DNA hold the answers, and what can it reveal about Europe's origins? The Balkans is more than just a region in southeastern Europe, it's a crossroads of civilizations. Picture this, a land where the east meets the west, where ancient trade routes crisscrossed, and empires rose and fell. It's a bridge between continents and a melting pot of cultures. For centuries, armies marched through it, merchants traded across it, and ideas flowed freely in and out. But here's the twist. While history books tell one story, DNA tells another. Genetic research has unearthed hidden narratives that even historical records couldn't capture. The Balkans isn't just a geographical link between Europe and Asia. It's a genetic bridge, holding evidence of some of the most pivotal movements in human history. And it doesn't stop there. What makes this story even more fascinating is the diversity of the people who have lived here. Romans, Goths, Huns, Slavs, and countless others, all left their mark on the region. Through their DNA, we can uncover not only where they came from but also how their lives intertwined to create the Europe we know today. Balkan DNA is more than a key to the region's past. It's the blueprint of Europe's shared story, a story of migration, survival, and transformation. And as we unravel it, we're finding answers to questions we didn't even know to ask. So, are you ready to unlock the secrets of Europe hidden in the Balkans? This is where the journey begins. Imagine walking through the streets of ancient Rome or standing on the banks of the mighty Danube River. Now imagine the people who lived there, soldiers, traders, farmers, and artisans, all part of one of history's greatest empires. What if their lives, their migrations, and even their diets were preserved, not in monuments or texts, but in their DNA? In the heart of the Roman Empire, the Balkans stood as both a gateway and a frontier. It was here that the empire's influence collided with the cultures beyond its borders. Yet, when scientists examined the DNA of individuals from this era, a surprising discovery came to light. Despite the Roman Empire's reach, there's little evidence of genetic ancestry from the Italic people of Rome itself. Instead, the Balkans during the Roman era was a hub of diversity. There were individuals of Anatolian ancestry, men with steppe origins who carried customs like cranial deformation, and even people of African descent, including a young man who may have traveled from present-day Sudan to serve in the Roman army. This region's DNA reveals a Roman empire that wasn't just about power and conquest, but about movement and mixture. People from all corners of the empire settled here, weaving their genetic threads into the Balkan tapestry. These findings challenge the narrative of a homogenous Roman influence. They show us that the Balkans was not merely a passive frontier, but a dynamic, cosmopolitan hub where the empire's diversity came to life. The Roman era's genetic legacy in the Balkans is a fascinating glimpse into an ancient world where cultures and ancestries blended. This DNA not only reshapes how we view the empire but sets the stage for the dramatic migrations that would follow. So, what does this DNA reveal about the Balkans' role in shaping Europe's genetic story? Let's dive deeper into this ancient melting pot to find out. As the Roman Empire began to decline, the Balkans transformed from a thriving imperial hub into a battleground for new waves of migration. From the 3rd century onwards, dramatic shifts began to reshape the region, both culturally and genetically. One of the most intriguing discoveries from this period comes from the DNA of individuals buried in the Balkans. Among them are people with genetic markers tied to Central and Northern Europe, as well as the vast Pontic-Kazakh steppe. These weren't isolated arrivals. Many of these migrants carried a blend of ancestries, suggesting they were part of multi-ethnic confederations like the Goths and Huns, often labeled barbarians by Roman sources. But what were these groups really like? One striking detail emerges from the skeletal remains of some migrants. Their skulls show intentional deformation, a custom practiced by steppe nomads, believed to symbolize status or identity. This is a vivid reminder that these weren't nameless invaders but people with distinct traditions and cultural practices. Yet, these migrations weren't just about cultural exchange. They represented a seismic demographic shift. As these groups moved into the Balkans, they intermarried with the local population, weaving their genetic stories together. Even as the Western Roman Empire fell, this mixing continued, reflecting a region in constant flux. 
However, what's even more surprising is what happened after these migrations. By the 7th century, the genetic markers tied to these northern European and steppe populations largely disappeared. Did they leave, assimilate, or face other fates? While some questions remain, it's clear that the genetic footprint of these groups was fleeting compared to the long-lasting changes brought by later migrations. This period in Balkan history reveals a fascinating cycle of movement, blending, and adaptation. It was a time when the old world of Rome gave way to the beginnings of a new Europe, one shaped as much by the movement of people as by the fall of empires. But the most profound and enduring transformation was yet to come. A migration so significant it redefined the Balkans and left a legacy that endures to this day. Let's explore what happened next. The Balkans has long been a genetic bridge between continents, and during the Roman era, it became a crossroads for migration from the Mediterranean and Anatolia. These regions left an indelible mark on the genetic makeup of Balkan populations, highlighting how interconnected the ancient world truly was. As the Roman Empire expanded, it drew people from all corners of its vast territories. Among the most significant were migrants from Anatolia, modern-day Turkey, who arrived in the Balkans in large numbers. Genetic evidence shows that during the height of Roman control, up to one-third of individuals in Balkan urban centers had significant Anatolian ancestry. This influx wasn't just a random demographic shift, it was deeply tied to the empire's cultural and economic vitality. Cities like Viminatium in Serbia became melting pots where locals and newcomers lived, worked, and intermarried. But how did this migration impact Balkan societies? The evidence lies in both genetics and burial practices. Individuals of Anatolian descent were often integrated into local communities. Archaeological findings, such as shared burial sites and mixed grave goods, suggest these migrants were not outsiders. They were part of the fabric of Balkan society. For example, one remarkable burial in Viminatium housed a man of local descent and a woman of Anatolian origin, showcasing the interconnectedness of these groups. The cultural exchange went both ways. Anatolian newcomers brought architectural styles, agricultural techniques, and artisanal crafts that blended with Balkan traditions. Over time, these influences enriched the region, creating a hybrid culture that was uniquely Balkan but bore traces of its Mediterranean connections. Interestingly, while the Balkans absorbed large numbers of Anatolian migrants, there is little genetic evidence of Italic ancestry. The Roman heartland did not contribute as significantly to the local gene pool. This challenges traditional narratives about the Roman Empire's demographic footprint, suggesting that its cultural influence often outweighed direct migration from Italy. The Mediterranean's role in shaping Balkan genetics is a reminder of how interconnected ancient societies were. The Balkans wasn't just a frontier. It was a hub of innovation and exchange, where Mediterranean, Anatolian, and local influences came together to create something entirely new. This chapter in the region's history highlights the power of diversity in shaping the past and the future. The Roman Empire's influence reached far beyond Europe, and its cosmopolitan nature is vividly reflected in Balkan DNA. Among the most fascinating discoveries are individuals of African ancestry who lived and thrived in the Balkans during Roman times. These findings reveal the extraordinary mobility of people during this era and challenge our traditional views of ancient societies. One striking example is the remains of a teenager uncovered in Viminatium, a prominent Roman city in present-day Serbia. Genetic analysis traced his origins to East Africa, specifically the region near modern-day Sudan. This discovery is exceptional, not only because of the individual's geographic origin but also due to the insights it provides about his life. Isotopic analysis of his teeth suggests he consumed seafood during his early years, indicating he grew up along a coastal environment far from the Balkans. But how did this young man find himself so far from home? While we can only speculate, historical records point to several possibilities. He may have been brought to the empire as a soldier, merchant, or even an enslaved individual. The artifacts buried with him, including an oil lamp with Jupiter-related eagle imagery, suggest he was integrated into Roman cultural practices. Despite his distant origins, he became part of the empire's complex social and cultural tapestry. This discovery is not isolated. Other remains in Balkan sites also indicate North African ancestry, reinforcing the idea that the Roman Empire's extensive trade networks and military campaigns facilitated the movement of people across vast distances. These individuals brought with them not only their genes but also their unique cultures and traditions, 
enriching the societies they joined. The presence of African ancestry in Balkan DNA serves as a powerful reminder of the diversity within the Roman Empire. It challenges modern assumptions about ancient societies and highlights the extent to which the Balkans acted as a global crossroads, absorbing influences from every corner of the known world. These stories remind us that the movement of people and the blending of cultures is not a modern phenomenon but a timeless feature of human history. The arrival of Slavic-speaking peoples in the Balkans marks one of the most profound demographic shifts in European history. Spanning several generations from the 6th to the 11th centuries, this migration profoundly reshaped the genetic landscape of the region. Today, up to 60% of the ancestry of Balkan populations can be traced back to this remarkable influx. But how did this massive migration unfold? Far from being a single, isolated event, genetic evidence suggests it was a gradual process involving the steady movement of entire communities. Unlike earlier migrations characterized by predominantly male warriors, the Slavic migrations included men, women, and children, hinting at family units settling into the region. This comprehensive integration of Slavic ancestry into the Balkan gene pool left a genetic legacy that endures to this day. Interestingly, the genetic footprint of these migrations varies across the Balkans. In northern areas like Serbia and Croatia, Slavic ancestry forms a significant majority, while in the southern regions of Greece and the Aegean Islands, the influence is less pronounced but still detectable. This variation aligns with historical and archaeological evidence of settlement patterns, showing how geography influenced the distribution of these populations. What makes this migration particularly fascinating is its cultural impact. The spread of Slavic languages, for example, is closely tied to the movement of these peoples. Yet, the genetic evidence also shows that the existing Balkan populations were not replaced but blended with the newcomers, preserving elements of their Iron Age and Roman era ancestry. This blend of local and Slavic ancestries helped shape the cultural diversity of the modern Balkans. It also underscores how migrations in ancient times were not simply about conquest but about adaptation, integration, and the creation of new identities. The story of Slavic migration serves as a compelling reminder of how interconnected human history truly is. It also highlights the Balkans' role as a dynamic frontier, where people from different regions came together to create something entirely unique, a blend of cultures, languages, and genes that continues to define the region today. The Balkans, often described as the gateway to Europe, is a region where the genetic traces of ancient migrations meet the markers of cultural evolution. By studying the DNA of ancient populations, researchers have uncovered a unique story that goes beyond borders and politics, offering insights into the shared history of the continent. What makes Balkan DNA so special is its ability to act as a genetic record of Europe's formative eras. Through centuries of movement and interaction, the region became a genetic melting pot. From the Anatolian migrations during the Roman Empire to the influx of Slavic populations in the early medieval period, the Balkans became a dynamic hub of human diversity. This rich genetic tapestry tells us about more than just the people who lived in the region. It helps us understand their connections to neighboring areas and far-off lands. For example, DNA evidence has revealed links to Central Asia, Northern Europe, and even East Africa, showing just how far-reaching human migration was, even in ancient times. These findings challenge long-standing assumptions about who traveled where and when, reshaping our understanding of historical events. Moreover, Balkan DNA provides a lens to examine the complex relationship between genetics and culture. The genetic diversity seen today is not neatly aligned with cultural or linguistic borders. Countries like Serbia, Croatia, and Greece share significant genetic overlap, even though their languages, religions, and histories have diverged. This underscores the idea that cultural identity is far more fluid and multilayered than simple national narratives suggest. One of the most striking revelations from genetic studies is how deeply interconnected Europe has always been. The movements of people into and out of the Balkans shape the genetic foundations of modern Europe. These migrations remind us that borders are temporary, while human connections are enduring. The story of the Balkans, told through DNA, is a testament to human resilience and adaptability. It highlights how societies have risen, merged, and evolved over thousands of years. By understanding these genetic threads, we not only uncover Europe's past but also gain a deeper appreciation for the diversity that defines its present and future. This genetic legacy, encoded in the DNA of Balkan populations, 
holds the keys to untangling Europe's shared history. It reminds us that our past is a collective journey, one shaped by the blending of cultures, the exchange of ideas, and the constant movement of people. The Balkans, as Europe's genetic crossroads, stands as a living archive of this remarkable history.